Right, 32 Lincoln, which came in basically to have a tune up and we found serious amounts of engine problems. So the two blocks are away being welded, machined, new pistons of the whole lot, new valve seats, new guides. Um, so we've, got, we've assembled that as far as we can go. The brake servo system, uh, it's like a servo assist, was knackered. So Robin's just machining that a bit for that, but he also asked to have the bonnets repaired. So, see that one split there, look. So that metal's no good to man or beast. It's been welded, but badly, all the way in here. To try and strengthen it up. But the, the basic problem with aluminium welding is, as you heat it, it kind of anneals it, so that it becomes softer. Okay. So welding it there, isn't really solving the issue. What you've got to do is cut that out and come back to here somewhere. Right. Um, the rear ends, the back edges, I could get just by repairing and body filing them up. This one I've done, look. So that piece there, you can just see some of the marks where I welded it in. Yeah? But that's nice, strong, two mil thick alley. It's not going to bend or anything when you do it. And that end's all repaired as well. Got to repair the centre bar, but somebody had welded it with all the basically your bonnet hinges all still in there. So I've had to unpop pop rivet all of those to make sure it all goes back together properly. But straighten these out. They hold the centre bar. Repaired that end the best I can. That just slips in there. Look. So you hang your bonnet on that. That's your hinge. goes into there and then you have one at the front yeah? yeah but as you can see the front of that isn't very well yeah so I've got to repair all of that also that's all loose so that'll have to come off and be connected up properly once you get them right the bonnets when they're hinging up and down properly they're fine but the minute you get a catch in them or something so you have to clean out all your grooves make sure everything slides in and out properly it's basically that's how it works that's that's pop riveted to the side of the bonnet okay so that goes on there yeah yeah and that bit slides in there See? okay and that's your hinge but you've got to make sure that, like when it's there it won't move so you need to Slide it on, clean it all up, make sure it all moves nice and freely. You don't want any grit in there or anything. And then that's basically your bonnet opening, yeah? Okay. But again, you need to make sure that all of that is cleared out from grit and rubbish. So the back piece of this bonnet, side, I've started to do. But can you see that indent there? So I've got to hammer that out because there's a big dent in it there. And then we'll carry on body filing it up. It's only aluminium, so you haven't got to whack it, you know. So you use your picking hammer to get right into the corner, yeah? That had a slight indent there, so you want to get as much of that out as you can, yeah? Okay. Okay, so that's got most of that out now. Right, and you see these bits that are scratched? Yeah? yeah? That's where I've body filed it. So that is low, that's low, that's low, and that's low, yeah? Right. This your body file. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you can adjust that. If you look at it there, it's got a slight curve in it, yeah? Yeah. So you're not dead flat. You can go put bigger curve in it yeah see that bigger curve yeah or you can wind it the other way and put a curve in it that way if you're rolling over the side of a wing as such and all this does is scrape the metal off very slightly it's just like a wood plane sort of yeah it's just you get different teeth per inch on them and so but being alley you want quite a fine tooth and you don't have to go mad at it but
Okay, so we'll go to about there, that should be okay. So we know we're low there, look. So it's scraping there, scraping there, scraping there, missing there, yeah? Okay. So what you do, you get, it's called a flipper. Slightly serrated edge, yeah? Yeah. You can get coarse ones, you can get fine ones, but this should be fine. The idea is to put that low piece of metal between the dolly and that, and you just tap it, yeah? Sometimes it takes a while to find your spot. She cried. See, that's just marking it there. Just very slightly there. Okay. And that'll lift the metal. Yeah. Right. And you go back to your file. See, that's all nearly one colour, so we're yeah. a little bit low there, so keep going at it. See, that's gone now. Yeah. And it will always go up a little bit, but as the metal cools down, it'll come back again. So we've got a little bit there now. Basically, I'm not worried about going past that point or past that point. We'll just go with that area there, then I know it's flat, yeah? Yeah. Doesn't take a lot because it's only alley. I mean, if it's, if it's still, you can give it a lot more welly, you know. So if you think you've hit it a bit too hard, you can just. your flat or the smoother you know what you're trying to do is just pick a point on that yeah. to raise it but if you think you've gone too far you can just put the smoother side on give it a little tap down right so let's come back to there cut the little low bits there but that's your main one there and there yeah okay What it is on panels, yeah, you'll always get a slight lip up on the edge and you don't want to file that edge down to nothing. Yeah. So put a bit more curve on the blade and don't go as far back and you can just get that out. Right, let's just do that little one there and then I'm, I'm quite happy with that area there just to be repaired, yeah? So a little bit right on the edge. And then we'll concentrate on this piece here because that could be anywhere because of the weld on it. You might not get it all out, but you know you've got a firm, smooth base to be repaired, you know, filler wise and later. Yeah, it's what they call metal finishing as opposed to just putting a load of filler in it. Yeah. You still have to have a high build primer and everything, but you get, you can do a whole car like it, but it'll take you forever, you know. But I guess the finish is much better. Yeah. You get some people who are just really, really good at filler work. I'm crap at it, so I'd rather do <laughs> this, you know. Right, so let's concentrate on this bit now. Got a slight high there. See if we can just tonk that down a little bit. It's all it takes because it's aluminium, it you know, it just doesn't take hardly anything to move it. I'm 
guessing that any discrepancy, any pit would really be highlighted once the paint's been applied. Oh yeah, so it'll all be primer, high build primer and flatted down, but you obviously, yeah, if there's a bloody white dent in it, you're gonna see it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just thinking of it, you've been very meticulous about tiny. Yeah, just, if you're gonna do it, do it properly. Yeah. You know? In theory, you should take all of the paint off of this and go over the whole bonnet, but it'll take you three weeks. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know, serious, serious, serious restorations. Cost a lot of money. A lot of money, yeah. So we can go up the edge there. Right, so we've got a bit of a bulge out there, which you're not going to do a lot with because most of that's weld. So let's just finish this piece. Low there, so let's see if we can get a picking hammer up under there. Yeah, a little rise up. Is there a danger of going too far? Um, realistically, no. As long as you flipper it gently. If you put a great, if you whack that flipper yeah. on the universal dolly really hard and it raises right up, and then you decide to file it, you can file through it. Yeah. But you, as long as you don't try and raise it a massive amount, you know. Yeah. Um, and if it's that knackered that it's so far down, the panel will be stretched anyway. So it doesn't matter what you do; you'll never get it. It'll just it'll be called plink plonk it'll just plink plonk <laughs> it'll do that so then you have to heat what you call heat shrinking right so you put a dolly underneath it get oxyacetylene torch and you just put a, say it's really high here i mean like really high yeah somebody's smashed it from underneath with yeah. a big big hammer so you you heat up the spot that's really really high put your dolly underneath that releases all the molecules in the metal when yeah. it's heated then you hammer it round and it just shrinks it back down. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it's called heat shrinking. Is that only works in aluminium or is it? We work on steel or alley. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's, everything you've got to do everything a lot gentler on aluminium, you know, mm. take it a lot easier. Right. Leaves that at that. You've got a slight bit there, but that's where the weld's up inside, so I can't smash that up yeah. as such. So let's just tidy that edge up there. Just from there, it's just bellowed out a little yeah. bit. It's not a lot, but if you buy it up, you might as well do it. So let's just take a little bit off of that. Right, we've taken our high spot off of there. See, it looks straighter. Right, so now we want to radius that because you've got dents and stuff. So. Right, so that's put a nice radius back in there, yeah? Yeah. So it just tidies it all up a bit more, you know? Bit of sandpaper, I'll just give it a rub over. There you go. Beautiful. You've got a couple of little tiny bits there, but I'm not worried about them. High build primer will get those. Put our radius back in, lovely straight edge, it's not dipping that way, um, and all your low spots are gone. So basically now, when the painter does it, he'll feather that back some more, layer this up, lots of high build primer, but if you look at this paintwork, I don't think you see it on this bonnet, I think it's on the other bonnet, 
you can see some of the scuff marks are squirts. What they call sinking back, the paint shrunk back. Okay. Um, so I, you know, he'll have to mask it here because you don't want to go into those pin pin lines that go down the side of the bonnet. You don't want to ruin those because they're hand painted. Yeah. Um, you can get them redone, but it's just no point in making hard work for yourself. What they they do what they call a false edge. You put masking tape on there and you roll the edge of the masking tape around that way and blow into it with the paint and then you can polish that false edge out. 